weekly PvE. The arena will be built based on the maze layout for this week, which is... Hmm, that's new. I suspect it's something to do with this guy. He's the culprit. No? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready as well. <laughs> I don't know, is it paused? I don't know if it was just going to start after one minute had passed anyway. It might automatically do it, but I suppose it's probably been about a minute now. Okay, well, that's definitely a minute. Game name is bad. Boost attack, health, armor, and of course footman. And then they go to arena. It's a PvP map. Ah. That sounds... What was that map called? Ah, I never remember the name of it. Pyromancer TD or something? Where the footmen walk through your maze, your towers attack... And then the damage that they do increases onto the footman, stuff like that. Wound. All right. Hmm, aware, Wendelin. Huh. The maze has changed. I guess it's been a new week. Right. Well, there it is. So, waypoint one to waypoint two to three. Okay. Well, I'm just going to wing it and see how to ding it. So let's start with the scout tower then. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. And head over from waypoint one to three. What range do these guys have? Eighteen to twenty. Six hundred range, I see. 600 range is pretty good, so you can mess those quite happily, I think. Probably not Windolin. Right, you'd probably want a tower there. So then there... Job done. Job done. Job done. Maybe the tower there if you wanted. Job done. Job done. Ooh, mistake. I need to sell that. There you go. Job done. Now I can block that more appropriately. Job done. Job done. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know I'm messing a lot of the same tower. <laughs> The attack types are different. I'll do a reroll soon and start making the mass of whatever that tier one tower is. Looks like oh, they got the seven two five range. That is nice. Don't mind if I do. So 
So what I was going to do is then come round to here to then waypoint 2 and then back up to waypoint 4 I guess? Yeah, or maybe? Yeah, I quite like the trains. They got that green damage. Now the mobs are going a bit too far up. I'll have to deal with that maybe later. I'll still continue with my maze. It'll be fine for now. Cross turret. Seems like a pretty fine thing to make. You're gonna leak. Or am I? Hmm, probably. Don't know if I've got enough range to reach this guy because my treants are on the left hand side, not on the right. So he's gonna sneak over. I got a couple more hits, but I don't think. Ah, it's okay. I'll take the hit. I'm still fleshing this out. They're too tanky to get killed. Remake. Uh, hang on a second. More gold is required. I can use the maze in rock charges. I was trying to hold off on those. Maybe on they'll be better on areas where I don't intend to necessarily build around. I don't know. More gold is required. Surprised how tanky that was. I guess that was a level that was bad for me. I can't remember what armor type it was, but these ones are white, so I should be able to kill these with no problem. No chance against my white power. <laughs> I could go around here and then pull them back up here, but I don't ever really need to do that. Other than to get a few extra cheap shots in. I think I should just try to get the maze somewhat complete for now. Crack on. I'll do another re-roll in a moment. And now it's soldiers. They've only got 350 range. I don't know if I want that. I'm going to re-roll again. Acolytes, 475 range is a little bit better. Not great. Get some of that purple damage. You can get a bit of a maze going here, but then I'm gonna... I think I need to destroy a lot of these rocks or something. So I can get a pulse, a, a ton of towers in the same spot, the ultimate towers. And I have my kill towers in the middle. I think that would work. The problem I got here is I can't block. How do I get to waypoint three? I haven't got an entrance to get to waypoint 3 other than waypoint 2 goes straight to waypoint 3 anyway, so that doesn't quite work. So then I don't know that. Hmm. I think I've got a slight error here, but... Now I'm not so sure what I'm doing with myself. Genuinely not.
I'm a little suspicious of how effective this is actually really going to be. Okay. Try something else then. So, what was I doing here? Does this still work or not? Let's just, for argument's sake, destroy this rock. Try something like that. Hmm. Oh, some of that. Storm Herald, the Herald of Storms. It's a blue, anyway, blue tower. Blue on blue. I don't know if blue on blue violence does anything. Whatever. It's not a block at the moment. They've got an entrance point here. Also, I'm massively leaking there. Yeah. You don't block because that's the way it works. You don't kind of get the gold until after the level's finished. So, I, it's not my preferred way of... For whatever reason, Lord Damage for the way that everyone else does it, which is a good way, we're going to just do the opposite of that. But the next wave, I'll be okay. And then I get to see how my maze works a bit more. You got a timeout, yeah. Right. So, you're going to go to one. Show me the way. So, they still got to go through here. To go through, they're going to take all that damage. This guy's popping off. Let's watch and see what they do. It looks like it works. to get to wave point two they've got to come out and then in again which is kind of what I was thinking because otherwise they're just walking from waypoint you know three to two and then back to three again and they're basically out so you've got to take a hit sometimes just to get the maze a bit more fleshed out and then obviously I can block this if I really want them to go a long way then they come back around there so that could work rune of annihilation what's this there less range I need to have a really long range tower on that one Tower gains a permanent bonus to attack damage, maximum mana and rock charge. The quest endured. I don't know too much about the quest endured. Are they still just going to bail out? Still looks like I haven't done much, doesn't it? Yeah, somehow I'm still screwed. I'm not sure. Unless the tower sucks. Okay. Well, let's re-roll and see you get a phoenix. Oh, there you go. There's a phoenix. Chop down. More gold is required. Now I'll try not to die in the next wave. Raging green... I feel like this looks better though now, but I'm taking a lot of damage.
I think the sunken ruins tile set or just Lauder on summer would be nicer for this. Or Daleron. Which is basically more or less the same green grass. You can choose. Oh, what the fuck? Why haven't I chosen it? Seems to have done well on this level. Oh, I see. It's one of those, is it? Where, where do I insert money to just access? So I won't get money until the next race starts anyway, so I still can't afford the Phoenix. Even if I time out here. See, 389 gold, so you have to just sort of let the next wave start anyway. And then you can build, but it's not going to block. charges so I can destroy a lot of rocks if I want. I haven't got that much space though. It's a shame I can't upgrade towers instead. Because I'm going to run out of space. Unless I just replace these with like bigger towers, expensive ones. I can't really make use of that ring. It's only range anyway. Because I'll have to destroy this and this blocks kind of nicely. Sure, I can destroy rocks. I'm just going for quality. So if they're healthy, they got more health, I think. If they're swarming, they're fast. If they're chaotic. If they're just. Crazy. That's a lot of phoenixes. Instead of just going with phoenix only. <laughs> Why deal with anything else? This one looks like it's quite different. Now this looks like vampire survivors. I can't imagine that one doing well in the late game. I'll put another Phoenix down as well, screw it. What's the worst that can happen? Phoenix only boys? I got a blue Phoenix, so that's okay. I've changed changed the card so you don't get too much of the same colour. This level got absolutely annihilated, didn't it? Oh my gosh. These are boss ones. Oh, chaotic are like bosses. This is a rune of reach. May as well put on like a melee type tower. Of 
Grand Decay and Rune of Speed, just fast attacks for you. I better re-roll and put some more shit down, I've suddenly got a lot of gold. I can fit 3x3 towers here. I'm also going to change those into 3x3 towers as well. Radiant Soul. Gonna do Dragonborn over here. Radiant Soul's a big fucker, isn't it? Jesus, it's a bit too big. That could reach. Job done. Let's try that. Doesn't necessarily reach quite as far as I wanted it to, but it's so messy. Void Queen. Now that, that sounds like some damage. Oh, it costs you life though. You can't be doing that. Unless you do it so that you can just never die. But if I leak once then I'm dead. Why would I do that? Storm Bitch. Creates a tornado. That sounds fine. She's quite small as well actually. I might just make mass storm ditches. Devo's playing very well. Very smart, very intelligent. Run to level 30 for uh, Devo. All gold is required. I found my tower. I'm just building this because it takes up like the least amount of space. Might be a bit screwed when it comes to single target, but most levels aren't single target. You won't have room for any more phoenixes. <laughs> I can always make room. Just destroy every rock and fill it all with phoenixes. I'm gonna do like mass Nagos like here and then maybe re-roll for a 3x3s three three and put them up here because I can fit 3x3s three three in this spot a few times but I need to have enough gold to put three of them down at the same time which is probably gonna be about 1,500 gold so we're stuck with Naga Sea Bitch for the time being next wave is gonna be nasty because apparently green does 0.25 damage to red
Devo, you're playing really well. Good job. This wave will be uh, interesting to see how I do. But to be fair, I think they kind of. I mean, you could always block that bit, then they come even further that way. But there's not that much damage on the right hand side, so I don't think it's worth making them travel further. I can always. It's a waypoint four, they just go up this way anyway, don't they? They have to come out from here, so they probably go up. So if you made them go down, I don't know if that's really any better. Not particularly. Has this guy completed his quest yet? It's probably because. Well, they've only just got to wave point two. My maze is definitely a lot slower than Devil's. But on the bright side, this is a level that's supposed to be bad for me. But they've only just got to wave point two. Now they've got to go all the way back round again, inside again. So this is looking a bit more like Gem TD, this one. As long as someone makes it to level 30. Oh, shit, look how much health he's lost. No, don't do this, Devo. Devo, no. Phoenix! Oh. That's all up to me now. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna stick with Naga Sea Bitch. You mess, no, you mess Phoenix, I mess Naga Sea Bitch. Until, like I say, I get all of them filled up here, and then, I mean, it's overkill putting that many down, but the main reason is because they're small. We've still got eight levels to go, and space really is quite limited. Once I've filled that up, and then done a bunch of free tier towers here, I don't really have much space. I could kind of, like, sell all of that, sell those, and then kind of maze the rocks higher here so I can build more towers there, if that makes sense. But it's a bit of a, a, bit of a mess to do that. It's not very comfortable. But I might have to. I could also put a couple of Naga Sea Pitches along here. Yeah. I don't have good single target damage, actually, so I might need to respec. Oh, dear. What is it? So, black, white, green. Oh, hang on a second. I do extra damage to green, though. So even if it is a multi-shot tower, I do extra damage to green, so it's probably still worth it. Yeah, I'm okay with Naga Sea Pitch, so. We're okay. Carry on the Naga Sea Pitch train. You can see how much gold you get at the end here, because it all, if you hover over gold, the player will receive 600 gold. If you had more time, you can make time with the timeout thing. Although, it did seem to go off anyway, after a while. 
it's a bit hard and weird to get used to. At least this maze, this week's maze is better than the last week's maze. The last week's maze seemed annoying. It turns itself off at the end of each wave. It's become sentient. Is there a way I can tell whether this druid's done his quest yet? It says quest complete, bonus is granted, so I guess he's done it. I, be I did build him ages ago. So this is just them getting to waypoint one. Look how much damage they've taken. So my maze is really good, apparently. I'm glad I rebuilt it, then. Because I thought it's, it's worth sometimes taking the hit to your health for the long run. Because I thought that waypoint two and three just looked really bad. So I, I had to think for a while to sort of, how am I going to make them actually have to travel opposites? Devo was blue. Oh, I see. What is his weakest color? Whatever orange is bad against. So orange is bad against blue. And then green and purple. I've defeated zero players, so I'm pretty good right now. Feeling cute. I've unlocked the barrel. If I wanted to put barrels into the rocks, I keep my rock for now. Circle of powers is spawn default. Dirt. This is where you start from. Devotion aura room. I still haven't used that room or nor the other rooms too much. Where we're going, we don't need them. This could be a 3x3 free free here, so I could do a reroll soon. I'll save up. This is the level that killed Devo. We're going to see if Naga Sea Bitch has what it takes. She's really not a single target tower at all. Consuming it says she attacks up to six targets. So she's going to have weak single target. So. I could still suffer here, but on the bright side, at least I do extra damage to them. And that, I've got three of them, four of them now, within range, so... This should be alright, but I don't know, they, they seem pretty tanky. It's too late to put rocks down now, Concrete Camel, but you're not wrong. Like I say, I could rebuild and push these these and move them up. But I'd need time to do that and my brain and I can't be bothered. But yeah, otherwise you could do a lazier sort of maze around here, but that's not really gonna change that much. You could like if I want to be lazy and just do this for example. There you go. Now they've got to go in there and in there. But I don't think that's going to make much difference. Right, they're getting to waypoint 2 and they've still got half the health there. So I think we might have some leaks. This better be good enough, Lord Damage. I'm sick of this map. Sick of it. Go, Naga Sea Bitch. I use timeout, but I think I'm dead. Needed a good single target green. Yeah, they're not even going close now. If anything, that maze made it work. No, they would go that way anyway. This map sucks. Have to take a screenshot or something.
See if I can rebuild that. Shit, man. 